I don't really know how to put it into words. It's just surreal. Old Miss Junior Kerrigan Harriet made the trip from Oxford to her childhood home this weekend to see family and Hurricane Michael's damage. For Harriet, the last two weeks have been stressful, especially when she heard the monster storm was headed to Panama City and her dad wasn't able to evacuate. So I called my dad and I was like, hey, are you leaving? And he's like, I can't. I'm trapped. I can't go anywhere. Um, I'm just going to have to wait it out. There's nothing I can do. Um, so, you know, I'm freaking out. I'm in Oxford, 500 miles away. You know, my, my mom and sister are fine because they left, but, you know, my dad you know, my dogs, every, everywhere that I grew up, basically, my, for my, like, teenage years is in danger. Being 500 miles away, Harriet says waiting was the hardest part, but nothing prepared her for what she saw once she was actually home. I, I've seen pictures over the course of the past two weeks, and I kind of had an idea of what to expect, um, but pictures are not doing any of this justice, and I'm, I'm here two weeks after it. After seeing pictures of what Michael did to her city, Harriet says she felt the need to help. Being in Oxford, I felt very helpless, so we gathered about $300 worth of supplies and brought them down here. But after Michael ripped through the area and Harriet knew her family was okay, she couldn't help but release the emotions she was holding in. Like someone asked me how was my family and just broke down and just so happy and relieved. Like we got lucky and um, you know, that's all I can say is just we got lucky. Harriet spent most of her time working in the small right behind me when she was in high school. She says coming home, even if it was just for this weekend, gave her the closure she's been needing to move forward. In Panama City, Abby McIntosh, Newswatch Ole Miss.